the Schmo with the bro with the always entertaining Jason Mayhem Miller here back at Fight Science Los Angeles, California. How we doing? Buy some fucking t-shirts. I got so much t-shirts. If you don't buy them, I am going to burn them. We don't want to be doing that to the environment. Now shall we buy those t-shirts, everybody? Now, Mayhem, talk to me for a second. The Schmo drove all the way up from Las Vegas to Los Angeles. Today, we have the press conference, Oscar De La Hoya. He's getting back in the boxing ring against Vitor Belfort. MMA versus boxing. What do you make of this? Hmm, it's the latest and the greatest mixed martial artists beating up on boxers. Yay. So you're assuming we're going to replicate what Anderson Silva did against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. a couple weeks ago? I believe so. Yes, I believe so. I think that you can't deal with it. The size, the power, the sexy shorts of Vitor Belford. You know the ones I'm talking about. Oh, yes, yes, we do. Now talk to me for a second, Mayhem. Let's talk about some current UFC fighters. Sugar, Sean, O'Malley, this guy, he's pretty popular. He's in the bantamweight division. Are we going to see him take that next step and get some big-time competition for his next fight here in 2021? He keeps rattling cages like he do, okay? He's going to have some problems. Everybody's going to want to fight that guy. Everybody. And, you know, they should be scared. Yeah, what about some of the legends in the sport, like the Frankie Edgars and the Dominic Cruises in this Bantamweight division? A sexy name like Sugar Sean O'Malley would make a good dance partner, wouldn't it? Definitely. Look, most of those guys, man, they'd be uh, going to bed early. Sugar Sean. Now, Mayhem, man, you got the itch, you know, in the jock strap to, you know, strap it up back again. Because, listen, we got Nick Diaz returning against Robbie Lawler. We haven't seen him in six-plus years. They are fighting USC 266 in September, Las Vegas, man. It's a rematch. We last saw that in 2004. I was at that one. That was hilarious. We didn't know what was going to happen. And then suddenly, Robbie was eating canvas. I think Robbie's going to be really fucking hungry for this. This is going to be one of those uh, barn burners, you know. I'm excited to watch it myself. I'm strapping in with a diaper. With all these legends returning the Vitor Belfords and obviously these two guys, does it get you to, you know, get the itch to get back inside yeah, the cage? You know, I put a cream on that and it went away, you know. But, you know, every once in a while, I'll just get hot under the collar, start breakdancing in my pants, you know. Uh, every day at Fight Science. These guys inspire me to take it to the next level. And certainly looks like the next level is approaching. What does that look like, Mayhem? Well, uh, two, one is basically fish and squid, right? And then you uh, boop, 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 boop over that. Collect the coins, right? You can run away from the squids left and right. But then you go in the green tube and you're fine. Now, the last time the Schmo was here the other month, we're talking about your favorite fighter, Justin Gaethje, but nothing's changed. He still doesn't have an opponent. Listen, what the fuck, man? Gaethje, you lose one fight in the whole fucking world. Like, go, and I wasn't even there. I didn't even know that the fucking fight was lost, okay? I like, he loses one fight and everybody just forgets about Gaethje. Gaethje needs to fucking get, get out here, man. Like, we got guys for him. Well, who's the rightful next opponent? Michael Chandler? Who is it? Hey, Chandler, okay. He's got a big meat head on him, Chandler, okay? That's a tough-ass opponent. He's got a square. He's basically the doom guy, right? Like, you know, and then what? That's a tough-ass fight, but I think Gaethje can fucking figure it out. Uppercuts. He's got the striking pedigree. He just needs to mix in his wrestling just a tad bit more. I, I think that Chandler, though, oh, my goodness. But wait, who's the other options, Schmo? Well, the Schmo was going to lead you to this. Islam Makayachev, you know, the next in line, the lineage, the brother of Habib Narmagomedov, the guy who is deemed to be next in line as the champion in the lightweight division, man. The guy's only got one professional loss. Nah, let's not. Nah, come on. Let's wait for that. Yeah. That's the Ivan Drago story right there. We need, you know, that's the, if Gage, can't get up for that one. You know what I mean? If you can't train hard for that one, I don't know what the hell. Let's wait on that. Let's put a pin in that, okay? Let's see if this guy's the real deal, right? 
put him up against a guy who can wrestle, right? Let's see. Let's see if he's the real deal. This uh, Islam, RDA. Hmm, RDA. The grappling versus the wrestling. Listen, man, that that's too sexy for just one fight. You know what I mean? Like that's a damn. Uh, There's so much happening, Schmo. Yeah. Well, Mayhem, what do you like the most about what's happening? There seems to be big events every single well, weekend. My favorite thing is seeing you guys get like download after download after download after download after download after download. After download? Yes. And seeing MMA grow into what it's supposed to be. I mean, you know, I was waiting a long time for this. You know, I basically didn't even see the Trump years. Well, it's okay, man. It happens to the best of us. Some people didn't even want to see those years. You know, all those people that are wrapped around into politics. Most politics. Yeah. Can we get a final message for the Mayhem fans out there worldwide? Oh, yeah. You know, I think everyone's scared. Uh, I've been asking you guys to come to Fight Science and fight my guys. And nobody's really showed up or DM'd me. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I see you out there in Mississippi. I know. You're waiting. Yeah, you're coming. But... The rest of y'all, I mean, I'm right here in L.A. They're right here in L.A. See you later. Not far off of Crenshaw and what is this, Pico Boulevard? Maybe the schmo's wrong with that. Washington! Washington. Good old George Washington, first president of the United States of America. Best president. Over Lincoln? No politics, no politics. He's the pro, I'm the schmo at Fight Science. Buy your t-shirts. We're out. See you on Twitter. Oh.